In this week's Fresco Tip Friday, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool handwriting animation. And the cool thing is, you don't even have to have good handwriting or be able to letter or draw or anything. It's actually really easy. So let's head over to the iPad and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get some type. So I'm gonna come over here, grab my type tool, and then just tap on my document. Then we need to type something. So I'll click on the keyboard and I will type dang. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it, choose style text, and I'm gonna choose a script typeface because that works really well for this style where it looks like it's being handwritten because all the letters are connected. I'm gonna choose this typeface called Palm Canyon by Retro Supply Co. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just switch over to the select tool and then scale this up to the size that I'd like. And now I'm gonna take this type layer, tap on it, and then go to convert to pixel layer to turn this into a graphic so it's no longer type. What I'm going to do next is change this to white so we can't see it. So I'm gonna select white, grab the paint bucket, and then just fill that in. So to make things a little bit easier for ourselves, I'm gonna click on the layer below, and then I'm just gonna choose like a, a light gray. Fill that in just so we can see the word that we're dealing with. Now we can go ahead and make a new layer on top of our type layer, and set this layer to a clipping mask. So what this is gonna do is make it so that everything we draw on this layer will only show up on the type below. So for example, I can draw across this whole space, but it's only gonna show up on our letters. And that's what we want. So let's undo that and then come down here to this little motion button, click on that, and that's gonna give us a little timeline at the bottom. So. I'm gonna hit plus so that we're starting with nothing because we want it to appear as it's being drawn on. So I'll start with the second one. So to quickly show you how this would work, if we come in here and just start filling this in, then go ahead and duplicate that frame and then do a little bit more, and then duplicate that frame, and then do a little bit more, we can scroll through and you'll see it looks like it's starting to be written on. So what I like to do to make it a little bit more fun is to try to make it look like it's wet and sort of like paint being brushed in. So to do that, I'll come in with my initial stroke here and then instead of a straight line, I'll do like a kind of a drippy blobby shape like this and then maybe draw some like little paint speckles like this. Something to think about when you're doing this write on effect, especially when you're doing script, is you want to think about how you would actually be writing these letters out. So sometimes it's helpful to like make a new layer and practice that. If I was writing this, I would start here and go like that for the D. So that's how I want to go in and fill this in to follow that movement. So we can delete that and come back here. So now that we have this first frame, we'll just go ahead and duplicate that and then come down here and add some more in. Then you can, you know, stretch this kind of splashy stuff out if you want it to look a little bit more dramatic. And then we can go ahead, duplicate that. And bring this all, maybe almost all the way up to the top. Again, we duplicate it. Come down here. Maybe not go too, too far because, you know, as, as you're writing this, you would go up and then trace back down so you would want to sort of make space for that movement and you know you can play around and decide to make it as you know quick or as slow as you want like if you want it to look like it's being painted carefully you could add more frames let's go ahead and see what this looks like quickly so here we're at the a so I'm gonna think about how I would write this so let's make a new layer and talk about that for a second so with the a technically you would kind of go like this, or not technically, but if I was writing an A, this is what I would do. But because we're doing it in script, we're coming from the letter before. So if we get the D, we're gonna go like this, and then like that. So we want our animation to follow this line, and then come down, and then do that. So let's duplicate this frame, and then we'll bring this up, like this, duplicate that and then we can have it come back like this
So at this point, I'm actually gonna ignore this tail because we'd only really use that if there were more letters in this word, but since they're not, I want it to end down here. So I'm just gonna skip over that part. There we go, so now we have this all filled in. What we can do now is turn off this gray layer because we don't need that. And what I like to do now is just go ahead and take this last frame and duplicate it a bunch of times so that it stays up on the screen. You can do this as long as you want. So now if we hit play, and then if you want, you can come down here to your settings. And actually while I'm here, I'll mention I have this set to 10 frames per second. I think it'll default to 12 maybe. I think 10 works well for this, but you can experiment. The less frames, the slower it'll go. And we can change this to boomerang and it'll play to the end and then rewind. And this will make it look like it, you know, gets erased or something like that. So go ahead and hit play and see what that looks like. I told you that was going to be fun and easy. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of these Fresco Friday tips or any of my other videos or my live streams. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Also, did you know we have channel memberships? We're almost at 50 members right now. I'm doing special live streams, doing special lettering treatments. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. We got our own Discord. Things are uh, pretty exciting and we're having a lot of fun. So, I don't know. Come join the uh, Chris Piasic community. That's such a weird thing to say. I don't feel comfortable with it. My channel's community? Listen, I gotta go. I'm gonna see you guys soon, real soon. Also, maybe uh, smash the like before you leave. Okay, good talk. Thank you.